Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am Doc Luxury and I have another video for you guys today. This time I have another box here for you guys and can you even just guess what I have and if you are not familiar with that logo just stay tuned and I will show you guys what I got. so this is very annoying that Nike has this logo on their box they also have you know their slogan just do it all across the tape and of course they also just leave your package at your doorstep and so that's basically what happened with this one thank goodness nobody stole it because you know, if somebody sees this logo on a package, it'll probably be, um, you know, a very hot commodity and one that somebody would be tempted to take. But anyways, let's get back to this item right here. I'm just going to go ahead and um, unbox it. Now, the other side does have some sensitive information, and so I will go ahead and unbox it down here. And let me, this is, so I purchased this from the Sneakers app. If you guys are not familiar with the Sneakers app, it is an app on, you know, smart devices. And it is from Nike. And it is actually, ooh, skews that little noise. I show you uh, here is the shoe box so like I said this was purchased through the sneakers app it is an app from Nike and whenever they do um, drops there are different types of drops the first one is first come first serve and so whenever a shoe is released of course you know the first person to place an order will get it over people who place orders later now i believe this one was um the leo drop so there are three different types of drops like i said the first come first serve is one number two is a leo drop which i think this one was where you basically um you know it has basically the first come first serve aspect of it but um you also get um, picked randomly if there are more people that are wanting to purchase it and so with this one in particular i did have to still um you know pick my size and go in the 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 waiting line or the queue to be able to see if i could purchase it or not and then the final drop is called the Dan drop. And that is basically where it is the most hype shoes. And those drops basically is all raffle. And so with this one, yeah, it has a component of first come first serve. It also has a component of raffle. And this is actually the first ever, first ever shoe that I was able to successfully get from the sneakers app from Nike. So let me go ahead and open it up with you guys and i did purchase my shoe size here is the box because i was not sure if i would um keep this or try to resell it and when i'm on the fence i usually just go with my true size and also another reason is because i did try to get the um the more hot um, sizes which were the very small sizes for the sneaker but i was not able to get those so here is the shoe oh my goodness i could just smell those chemicals from this shoe but let me go ahead and take i'll just take one out all right so here is the shoe and there is the other one so this shoe is the Air Jordan 1 
and it is the high top and specifically this particular one is called the defiant but it is also called the um what is it called again not luxury um let me go look on stock x real quick and right now it is one of the the most um popular shoes on StockX because when you put in Jordan this one is the first one that pops up it is called the Jordan 1 Retro High OG Defiant Couture and this shoe is supposed to be a mixture of street and um, and luxury basically and let me just go through the ins and outs of this shoe if you guys can see that the the Nike swoosh you could hardly see it because there is this big old red, this red um, stripe that goes all the way across both sides of the shoe. And that is what makes this shoe um, more, I guess, unique in that. So this stripe is actually for, um, you know, the, sh the street car, sort of like the racing car um, culture where you have the racing stripes. That's what this stripe is supposed to be all about. Now, with this shoe in particular, it also has very high quality leather, and which is very different from other shoes in the same style. So this is a Air Jordan um, 1, which is a very common style shoe. And just recently they've been coming out with tons and tons and tons of different of different designs of this shoe and usually this style of shoe when it does come out it does have a either a leo or a dan drop and i guess some are the first come first serves but those aren't the more um popular so like i said this is my size you guys can see the toe box is all leather and this is a very very smooth very luxurious feeling leather and this shoe in particular has been drawing a lot of attention because there are um you know people that don't like this shoe there are some people that love this shoe now the price point of this shoe is a little bit more expensive than the regular air not the air force one the jordan one shoe so this retailed for i have my receipt in there but it retailed for $175. And I think on average, the regular Air Jordan 1s in the high top usually go, usually go for about $160. And so there is that $15 price point difference. And um, you can definitely tell by the materials that it uses. And you could even see, so here is the tongue the label on the tongue and that is leather usually these um labels are are in fabric and this leather actually i did see a video from um carlo opal i think is his name and he has a channel here on youtube as well and he reviewed this sneaker this and he basically reviewed this sneaker very well he said that these this leather is actually the same leather that they would use on you know really nice expensive dress shoes and so this does you know implied by the name couture have aspects of street but also aspects of luxury and high class now i'm still on the fence to whether or not i will um you know either keep the shoe or try to sell it because i don't really wear um you know high tops but i always like and the reason why i bought the shoe is because i always like to try and um score a got them and if you guys aren't familiar with what that is let me show you guys that picture that i received from the sneakers app when i successfully was able to purchase these shoes all right so 
this is what you want to see. I have always been getting, um, unfor unfortunately, you were not able to purchase this item, um, little picture. And this, like I said, is my very first one. So I am excited about it. I'm, I might just keep it just because of that, but I don't know if I will um, wear it myself. But it is really cool. I might, I mean, you never know with, with shoes if they will look good on you, if they go with your outfits or anything like that. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my new, um, you know, addition. I don't know if it'll stay in my collection, like I said, but um, yeah. All right, so that's all I really wanted to say. And until next time, just remember to be you and stay confident. Oh, and before I forget, again, I keep on doing this. If I do post this after or before the raffle, not the raffle, but the giveaway ends, I wanted to announce again that I am giving away this book right here, which is a collection of Chanel runway pictures from the, you know, past few years or the past years that Karl Lagerfeld has been uh, the head of, you know, the artist artistic director of Chanel. And I am also giving away this little cute doll as well. And so if you are interested in winning either of these items, or actually both of them, because I'm going to be only picking one winner, be sure to check out my video where I do commemorate Karl Lagerfeld because, as we all know, he did recently pass away. And, yeah, if you are interested in these items... Just go to that video and follow the instructions. It's very easy. But yeah, I'll say it again. Just until next time, just remember to be you and stay confident. Take care, you guys. Goodbye.